A reading from the Gospel of John. No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. In today's gospel, we hear, we read and hear Jesus making a very good use of bread as a symbol for life. And he instructs us that he is the living bread, the bread that gives us life, that will allow us to live forever. There are so many ways in which Jesus is and should be the bread of our life. He is the nourishment that feeds our souls, our spirits. He is the one who laid down his life that we might have everlasting life. And each and every day, through reading the scriptures and reading of his activities, the things that he did, the things that he taught his disciples, we are being nourished by this living bread. Now, knowing that Jesus provided himself as this living bread for our nourishment, let's not be selfish in sharing that bread with others because there are yet very, very many people in the world who not only crave this bread, but who need this bread to survive, to go forward in life, and to continue um, being okay. So let's not be stingy about that bread, but take the opportunity to share it in every circumstance that we can share it, that others may know the nourishment of the living bread that has been provided to us by the Father who loves us. Amen. <music>